guys so really quickly I just got done with my workout and I wanted to show you how to properly throw a hook particularly a left hook but I see a lot of people doing this wrong and it can really be one of your most powerful impactful punches if you know how to throw it correctly and I think personally from what I've seen and experienced a lot of people rely on a straight or a cross as their power shot primarily and they kind of set everything up from the jab from their head movement all of that kind of stuff in order to land a right hand or if you're a southpaw left hand um, but I think hooks actually a lot of times can be more effective and particularly for women because of how it's thrown because any punch if you're throwing it right is thrown with your entire body it's not just your arms and if you're throwing an arm punch it just doesn't have that power and that pop behind it it's going to be kind of like noodle arms you're not really going to get any sort of power behind that kind of shot it's a really great punch for women to throw and i think also just to work on because Women naturally have more power in their hips than men do, and that's from your physiology. That's how women birth babies. You have to have really strong, wide hips, and women naturally have this asset more than men do. And also, women have less upper body strength, naturally, pretty significantly, than men. So why women are so focused on like developing their right hand or their cross when you have hooks that really can drive all that power that's sitting in your hips, if you know how to throw it, kind of blows my mind. So I want to show you really quick how to do it. It kind of comes from the twerk. So you really want to turn your hip over. If you're just, I see people all the time when they're shadow boxing, they throw a hook kind of like this. Because that's such a lazy hook. Um, and if, yeah, if you're throwing it like this, like, no wonder you're not going to get any power off that, right? So... Really what you want to do instead is you want to, first of all, sit down on that punch, bend your knees, and really drive your weight into the ground. And then you want to turn your leg over. So you're, whatever side you're throwing the hook, I'm going to show you the left in this case, you want to take your leg and twist it all the way around. And not even just your foot, like not just like that. You want to twerk your entire leg. See how I, I'm not even going to show you the arm yet. See how I twist it over. And it want, you want it to be really fast and powerful. Like, so you want to turn your leg and your hips over. And this is really where the power is coming from. Well, then when you're adding in your arms, so you're going to take your left hand in this case. And as you, and a lot of times people will combine this. Like you do a left slip that naturally sets you up for a hook. Because if you're over here, you're slipping. You naturally can come back around and punch and make that twerk even more powerful, right? Because you're over here you're twisting back. But if you're just starting from a neutral position even, you're just going to take your arm and you are sort of making a hook motion. That's why it's called a hook. See how my elbow and my arm is parallel to the floor. So you want your fist to be perpendicular to the floor, not parallel. I see a lot of people throw their hooks like this, and this is just, you don't get that same power. And it also can be damaging to your hand and your knuckles. You're a lot more likely to break your hand. You throw it like this, versus it, with all the delicate parts really making an impact, versus here, where you're really driving in your knuckle. Just following your hips, so it's not like, it's not jerky like that, but it's smooth but it's powerful and the pop is coming from the hip and not from your shoulder. Something like that. See how they turn into it, that's where all the power comes from. I wanted to show you that because I think, especially if you're a woman and you're learning boxing, and especially if you're someone that's a power puncher, work on your hooks work on your hooks because you can generate a lot of power. If you have a lot of strength naturally in your lower body, use that to your advantage. And really twist and twerk those hips into your shots. And the hooks are money. So, thanks for watching.